All right, guys, next we're going to go to the two Type-0 fights. Um, this one is an exploration, and this one is hard locked to Final Fantasy Type-0 only. Um, the missions are kill the final boss in five turns or less to get all the missions. We're going to grab a Kurosame friend. Now, this friend is unfortunately not geared super well. He's got mostly naked slots um, and just a terrible tear. He obviously hit auto gear, uh, but still, he's wearing a weapon, and he's got his LB maxed. That's about as much as I can ask for. So mine would do the carrion, um, and here's the rest of the party. I'll show the gear at the end, uh, but I've also got some charm bangles equipped. We're going to skip the RP because I don't really care. So we're going to grab the chest along the way, and hopefully we don't get in too many encounters. Um, so we're going to use for each fight, we're going to use auto bravery on ace to buff the attack power from an esper. And then we're going to just LB the two Kurosames <coughs> and chain them together. His LB is automatically Ice Element, it automatically imperils, it automatically gives him an LB damage, and it automatically amplifies his Ice. So he's actually a pretty decent choice to take care of the trash fights for this. For this. Um, now the enemies are sort of bulky, so you need some kind of relevant DPS, but as you saw, the friend I'm taking is very, very undergeared, because he did not do more than, I guess, hit auto, auto gear. Um, here's the one chest that matters, the King's Armor. You want to grab that on your way. Oop. Grab some semi-hidden Star Quartz. But yeah, these enemies, and here's, a, here's another shield if you want to grab that. You know, kind of the whole point of this exploration is to get those items, so you may as well get them. And there's one more chest over here. We've got another battle. <coughs> um, I am wearing Charm Bangles, so the Charm Bangles reduce encounter rates. And my first time in here, uh, there was like an encounter every two steps. So Charm Bangles are definitely helping out. At least as far as I can tell. Alright, and here's the final boss against um, the Final Fantasy Type-0, Gilgamesh. Now for him, we're going to use Machina to break. We're going to use Ace to... Um, whatever that's called. Uh, I can't talk. Bravery. And then we're going to go ahead and do our LB with these two. And this should deal a little bit of damage. Again, the friend is not wearing any gear, so kind of whatever. Um, we're going to needles with you and just guard with you. <laughs> okay, so he's going to jump this turn. I'm not entirely sure if it obeys Provoke or not. I guess we're going to find out. But let's have uh, you do... Hmm. Yeah, let's do Mitigation. And it doesn't really matter what else, I guess. Literally doesn't matter. Uh, we can guard you. We can use... How many turns is this? Four turns. I guess we'll do a power-up buff on you. And you can guard. And you can guard. Not much to do here. Okay. So the enemy's going to drop um, on our evader. So that's fine. Let's go ahead and triple chain <clears throat> on this guy. And the friend didn't even level his skills. That's awesome. You know, actually, I might not have either. I didn't even notice if I leveled my skills or not. It'd be kind of funny if I didn't. I'm talking about the friend. Uh, so we'll guard you, we'll guard you, and we'll guard you. And we'll hope the boss doesn't do anything crazy here. Mirage. Okay, not a problem. And then our Kurosame's SLBs will be ready. So we're going to support chain you, support chain you. Um, or not support chain, we're going to cap. And then we need to support chain because his SLB is not... Uh, is not, let's see, we'll do ice, is not a chain, and we'll do ice. Okay, I don't know the timing on this, so let's triple bolting with you, and triple bolting with you, and we'll just kind of like send everybody and hope that this caps properly. It did? Okay, so there we go. So I'm glad we were using um, some slow chainers, because apparently it was a really slow hit. But there it is. There's an all mission on Gilgamesh. I think. <laughs> what? What? We gotta go make it back to the beginning? Oh my god. Seriously? Am I... I, I don't know. I guess we killed the target, now it's time to escape. Charm bangles for the win, no encounters. 
Okay. That was kind of pointless. What was the reason for making me go back? Oh, we're not done. Or... Oh, God. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're not done. We're not done. Okay. Um... I thought we were. So, let's go ahead and break again. Let's... <laughs> Let's, uh, let's do this. Uh, I should have given her needles, because now I can't mitigate. Um, we're going to do needles instead of mitigation this turn. And let's do an LB. Oh, he's still dying pretty quickly. Oh, uh, we used our Magnus already, because I didn't know there was another fight. Um, okay, that looks like needles. It's not needles. Uh, okay, he's hitting the single target. That's good. Uh-oh. Fixed damage. Okay, it doesn't seem to be too challenging. I just didn't expect this guy to still be here. I thought we were done. Um, so you will mitigate us. Let's heal. And... Let's do this. Alright. Uh, you will triple bolting. Because we're not done with the fight yet, I guess. Physical resist. Oh, just one turn. Doesn't this break? Technically? Alright. We have mitigation now, so that should be better. Alright, uh, he's miraging. I see the little outline. He's got buffs too, dude. Uh. I know Machina has breaks in his kit. Doesn't he have breaks in his kit? What kind, what kind of breaks does he have? Are they good? <laughs> no. 80% break. So I can dispel or ignore. Let, let, let's try ignoring. So let's... Okay, that's gone. So let's do some damage again. Oh god, that is extremely bulky. Items are allowed. Okay, so we'll go ahead and dispel. That worked. Um... And then we will do our big bad 80% break. That's super good. Uh, our 60% in peril. Are you kidding me with this? I swear I thought Machina had good breaks. You're killing me here. And you... Oh, she can actually in peril. She can do... Uh... There's a 120 in peril. So 120 in peril. Uh, we can fill some MP because we chained. We weren't supposed to do that, I think. And what is this? I don't care what that is. Uh, let's he heal. That's not a heal, but no one needs healing. It's fine. We get our SLB this turn. So uh, we'll see if that matters. All right, he didn't. he didn't buff again. So here's the SLB, so man, this type zero with the, the friend that's basically naked. This is this is the best. This is the best. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and chain up that triple chain family four again. And we'll see if this this knocks it out for us. Alright, so I remember that we needed to chain these first. Wait just a minute, then chain the rest, because it was very slow. Got him. Okay. Hopefully this is the end of the fight, because... I kind of just threw, threw literally a whatever team. I'm glad I actually put some gear in my units, because... Um, because when your friend is basically naked, it's not helping matters. Now yeah, we got it. We got it. It was fine. Easy fight. Easy. It's just it's just that it's locked to Final Fantasy Type Zero, and I didn't... I did a test run and like fought the first version. I'm like, oh, okay, the first version is pretty easy. Um, I'll just, you know, start recording. And I didn't realize that there was a round two. 
but it was fine. It was fine. And all missions. Outstanding. With uh, Type 0 Kurosame, that's the old one. Um, so if you're going to grab a friend, look for one that is properly built, I guess. Or maybe the Neo Visions Awakened Sice. I don't know. Uh, but I'll show you the gear we used. So, uh, Rem is charm bangles and just some mana regen and then needles. I should have given needles to the other queen because whatever. Um, and yeah, like I just stuck some MP gear on and expected we would be fine. And I guess we kind of were. I did gear ace for pass or provoke evasion because I figured I figured we'd be going the turn too. And I knew the first boss jumped. So I geared him for that. And other than that, he was just pass or provoke evasion, seven star ace. Um, Machina was auto-breaking with the Bracer and just some MP gear. I hit auto-gear MP and I gave him a killer materia or a killer or a breaker materia. I should have given him a second one because I didn't know we'd be dispelling that middle boss. Um, no card because I didn't think we'd be in the fight that long. Uh, Queen is literally naked except for Charm Bangles because I didn't know we'd be in the fight that long. And then Kurosame is um, Titus S. Timar, uh, you know, the Dark Visions Katana. Um, whoops, whoops. And other than that, maxed LB damage. And he's got killers versus robots. Uh, not human, because I didn't... Robots and beasts, because I thought we'd be fighting just the dogs and the little trashy humans. And the first robots. So I geared them all in for robot. If I had known there was a, there was a part two, I would have geared him for human killer. Uh, but I didn't realize that. And whoopsie. Okay. Uh, anyway, that was the win on the exploration. Little, little tricky. Uh, but not really. I don't know. So I'll see you in a minute for the other boss, which I'm probably going to skip a mission. We'll see you in a second. See you in a moment. Alright, guys. For this last fight, um, the missions are for level 3, which is the final level. Uh, the missions are no, no items, um, crystal warrior units only, and type 0 units only. This guy is a stone enemy. He is very, very bulky, and we are not going to be doing those missions. So we're going to just be skipping two missions and getting like a super easy knockout with a squall team. So let's give it a go. So we're going to use Kuja to imperil light. We're going to use um, Yish to break by 89 defense. And Fina will imbue light, Shelga, and Protectga, while squalls will shift. Do their shifted LB. Deuce, or not, uh, Deosius will as well. And get a little bit of damage in. The boss is going to do some physical and magic attacks. As you can see, he is very bulky, so doing this with Type 0 only units uh, in five turns is like super good joke. Um, so we'll do a bunch of LBs with these. Whatever, but Squall, more importantly, will do his setup with his Amplify um, and his LB fill. So we're going to do this, this, and this. I should have done the same thing with Deosius with his Dark Amp, but Deosius is honestly only here for his Great Sword in Peril. We're not really worried about his damage here. This is this is all about Squall. Yeah, Squall's Great Sword in Peril is unfortunately only in the base form, so we. Uh, we bring it external. There's the boss's attacks. You know, it'd be actually be pretty hard to survive this with uh, Type Zero as well. Kuja can now do his big imperil, and we'll go ahead and LB all this. And that should be the end of the boss. There it is. Super simple. Um, we're not worried about the the 500 Lapis mission. Type Zero crystal crystal defenders only. You got to be joking. Not happening. Not, not for me at least, you know, I'm not pulling the new Ace, I'm not pulling the new Deuce, so having just old Kurosame is, is not going to work for me. So, yeah, you know, my squall. Better gear than the friends, but there it is. For some reason, uh, friends are just not gearing their units these days. Um, anyway, uh, so here is the, you know, Defender and the other one we're skipping, but we did get the important thing. We got the, the chest piece recipe was all that really matters uh you know so we missed 500 lapis but we're basically trading 500 lapis for our sanity because doing that with or trying to do that with i mean i could do a crystal defender only team just not final fantasy type zero i would just use you know like knights of grand shell or something and do like a 540 turn auto clear uh but you know i i i don't care that much about 
doing that for 500 lapis. It would be too, too much of a headache. I'd rather just skip the 500 and do something else with my time. But there's all the Type 0 stuff. Now i got to farm the Mogument over the next, you know, 26 days. But, yeah. Hope it's been helpful. See you next time. Oh, as far as the gear for that team, I mean, it was very, very generic. Generic gear. So, Kuja, I hit auto gear. Um, literally, whatever, I just hit auto gear. Whether it worked or not, who cares? That's what he's geared as. <coughs> uh, there you go. Uh, Yish, hit auto gear. There it is. Who cares? 89 break. Uh, 160 in peril, 89 break. Uh, Fina, passive provoke evasion, same build as the previous runs. I just stuck her in here for the light support. Diosius, um, literally whatever. He was just here for the great sword in peril. Other than that, who cares? My squall is 300 omni killer to everything, maxed on everything. You know, 14,700 attack power. And the friend was a whole lot weaker. Anyway, see you in a bit.